Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Angelica Violet here and today I'm going to teach you how I conceal my mullet and how I style it and things like that. So make sure to stay tuned. Let me know what styles you do to style your mullet or conceal it. And if you like any of my jewelries, make sure to go follow my new jewelry brand on Instagram. It is Shop Rebirth Jewelry. I'll be launching pretty soon. So I don't know. Go support me and go say hi. I would really appreciate it. So let's hop into the styles and the different type of ways that I do my hair. Okay, so a few people have asked me how I am growing on my mullet and how I style it while I'm doing that. So I'm gonna talk about that today. Before I start showing you what I do, we need to discuss the anatomy of a mullet. Mullets are known for having really short layers and lots of volume and then really long pieces in the back. So front is shorter, back is longer. Business in the front, party in the back. Yeah. Since we're trying to disguise the mullet, we have to keep that in mind when we're styling it. I washed my hair yesterday, so it is very clean. Let's just get into the first style. I'm just gonna prep my hair first. And this is the Not Your Mother's Beat the Heat Thermal Shield. I don't know. I just use things that are cruelty free and cheap, so that's why I use this. And I'm just gonna brush through my hair. If you can't tell already, my hair is pretty thin and doesn't have much of a natural texture. Besides like my short parts, just has a little bit of a wave. Can't really tell. Probably take off my jacket maybe. So the first style that I tend to do is I do a little broccolis up in my hair just to get these top layers out of my face. I haven't cut my hair since the initial cut, which was right before Halloween. So it's almost been four months. Well, it's been five months since I've got it cut, so. My sides are pretty long, because when I got them cut, they were like so fucking long, short, but. First thing I'm gonna do is make sure my hair is parted in the middle, because I guess I have a good indicator because of my bangs, because they're split dyed. To achieve the broccolis, we need these like super tiny little rubber bands. You know what I'm talking about. I like to keep all most of my bangs out because, I don't know, I think bangs are cute. And I'm just gonna do this in two sections because, I don't know, you could probably do more. It'd probably be cute to do it in four sections if you wanted. So I'm just gonna pull up the short layers. Make sure we get the back. So here is our first broccoli section. I bought these from Dollar Tree and they fucking suck and they snap <laughs> like half the time I use them. So go get these from Walgreens or like a beauty supply store cause the Dollar Tree ones suck. So this is like a very 90s vibe. I like having some shorter pieces that kind of fall in front of my ear just cause it frames and I think it looks cute. And let me do that on the other side. I'm not big on symmetry or anything, so you could probably take your time more if that's important to you. Alrighty, here's our two little broccolis. Of course, it would be cute if you had like maybe two on each side. Do some butterfly clips, that'd be cute. And um, my hair is naturally straight, but if you have like waves or curls, I think it'd be really cute. Since I have nothing, <laughs> I'm going to just add a little bit of texture. I like to curl away from my face just because I think it looks best. I have these like shorter pieces right behind my ear that kind of blend my short sides to my mullet to my long, so. I make sure to try and curl that just so it's a little more hidden. And I'm just curling with the flat iron. I'm not really, I don't really care that much to be honest. I just want to have a little texture, a little something. I mean, I don't really know if you can tell on camera. And of course this is not perfect. I don't like the perfect or polished look. So you could probably take your time more to do this. Just for you guys, I'll curl the back of my head, which I usually don't do. <laughs> You'll probably notice that throughout the rest of the video. Alrighty. For hairspray, I've been using Not Your Mother's She's a Tease Volumizing hairspray, so I lift my hair up and just give us a few spritzes. See, it looks so much more voluminous. So here is look number one. I call this the broccoli. To add on to the broccoli, this is kind of, so just following that center part and you can take it down the back. I will also sometimes braid my hair with this. Just gives off like a sporty spice type of look. I just do a regular braid because I don't have the patience to be doing an intricate braid, but of course you could probably do like a fishtail or a Dutch braid or whatever the hell is out there nowadays. I'm not into braiding or trying different styles, so. 
y'all probably know more than I do. And I don't go all the way down feeling like I look like a boxer. And I like to pull it out a little, give it some more texture, some more edge. I liked my hair to look very lived in and if you did accidentally braid your hair into that, you can pull forward your face, face centering pieces? I don't know. So here's that side and let me just go ahead and do that other side. Pulling it out, giving it that lived in look. So my hair is a little curly at the tips already because of how we styled it before, but you could always go in with your flat iron or your curling iron and just give a little bit of a grounded curl just to give it a little more play. This is like popping out, but <laughs> you could always just like tuck this in somewhere. So here is another look. And speaking about the anatomy of a mullet, um, I really like this look because it is disguising that there is two different big layers. So you have this pulled back so you can't tell it's a lot shorter than our longer parts of the mullet. It almost gives like a French braid effect, which I like. So here is look number two. And to modify this look, I'm actually gonna pull out these little ponies. So after you pull out the pony, you can just have your top layer again. I'm gonna take out my other one as well. So this is a more like Raggedy Ann kind of sweet summer vibes. If you wanted to just keep it like this, you definitely could. I like to add a little bit of texture or something into it just because, I don't know, it feels kind of flat and boring. I'm gonna take a few pieces of hair and curl them backwards with my flat iron just to give a little more life into this style. Especially around the face, like I just think it looks really cute. And you could always curl some in, curl some out, just to give you that kind of natural lived in look. Alrighty, and then I think this is, would be like especially cuter if you had in some earrings. I'm not doing that right now just because I'm doing my hair so much, but for like the face pieces, if you want, you can have them up in here, but if you have some longer pieces, you can always tuck it behind your ear and kind of just style it and see what you like, see what makes you feel good. Here is my Raggedy Ann braids. Alrighty, down to number four. I'm gonna have these ponytails like all over my apartment. I'm ripping out my hair trying to do this video. Alrighty, let's undo our braids. And since my hair is already sectioned, I'm just gonna keep it on each side. This is probably a more basic look and I feel like space buns aren't really in anymore, but we finna do them anyway. And I'm just gonna section off this hair in a separate ponytail, just because I don't want anything to get lost. So let's section out what hair we want to go up. Do like a triangle with my front hair. Of course, not gonna be perfect. We're not striving for perfection. We're trying to conceal a mullet. So making sure we brush the hair back, but make sure we're keeping the sectioning as well. Kind of start working my hair upwards. You can have them really low or you can have them high, whatever you like, but make sure that you get them even <laughs> because you don't want some wonky ass space buns. And make sure to clean up the back. But for the sake of this video, um, I don't give a shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in and just make it a ponytail first. And I'm gonna do my space buns pretty high, but of course you can put them so closer to the ear down more or whatever. I just like to get it in a ponytail first so I can kind of mess with the shape of my bun. And you can, of course, just keep the pigtails like this. I think it's actually pretty cute. My hair is so fucking tangly from that hairspray. Alrighty, um, and I'm trying to guesstimate where this ponytail should be to match the other side. So to be honest, I feel like this could be a look on its own. I think it'd be really cute if you had like previous curl styled hair or you could curl it while it's in these ponytails. Just make sure you don't have your short layers kind of poking out looking weird. Kind of looks like horns, not styled correctly, you see. So I'm gonna kind of put my fingers and loosen it up a bit just cause I like a saggy look. And I'm just gonna wrap my bun around the ponytail and and just gonna plop another one of those rubber bands around it and pull some hairs out. You might have some of your short layers poking out just because it can't reach that far back. So of course, feel free to style however you like. Let's do that again. These are kind of uneven, but I mean, I don't really care. I'm gonna use some clips just to kind of yank up the buns so they match a little more. And of course, you can always go ahead and go curl the pieces. Um, I have some longer pieces that didn't make it. 
I'm just gonna curl it. I like the kind of fucked up look. You could of course go in with the bobby pin and clip it up. I'll just use a clip for the purpose of this video. Alrighty, so here is another style that I do. Space buns. <sighs> All right, let's undo all this stuff. Now that my hair is done, I'm just gonna brush through it really fast. The last style I'm gonna be doing with just what hair I have is going to be a top messy bun, just because, to be honest, that's what I wear like 95% of the day, because I'm working from home still, and I don't style my hair every day. To be honest, I probably style it maybe twice a week, if that. I just like having it out of my face, off of my shoulders, and everything, so. I'm just gonna brush back majority of my hair. I'm not gonna try and keep all of my bangs out just because they're gonna fall out naturally. I'm just pulling my hair up and getting my fingers stuck. <laughs> I've been seeing these hairstylists on TikTok talking about like you need to move your ponytail and braids around or buns and whatever. So make sure you're not using the same hairstyle every single day because that is really bad for your hair. Make sure you switch it up and do some new things. I like my buns pretty high up and if you bring them up pretty high then your top layers will mesh in. Pull it in, then grab the ponytail again, fold it, and put it over. I don't know how to explain. I feel like we know how to do buns. I am doing it with a scrunchie just because that's what I have near my person. So you can start to see some of our pieces are falling out. If you want to have like this much hair down, you totally can. I don't know, I feel like it looks like a bob. <laughs> a bob and a bun. This is when I'll go in and add some clips to make sure my short layers are blending into the bun. I just kind of parted my hair in how much I want my short layers to be back and how much bangs I want. So just clipping that. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this side. I guess I'll do a little bit. That much didn't come down. Um, I have some shorter pieces in the back. I don't mind if those kind of come down. And I'm just gonna curl my bangs a little just cause they're looking a little flat. And I just curl my bangs under just cause I like how they look. And I'm gonna curl my little hairs too. I'm gonna brush up my bangs and mess with them a little. Give them the purposely messy look rather than just looking like a mess. So here is our top bun with some bangs. And the last look I will do to disguise my mullet is wearing extensions because I've come to be that desperate. Once again, brushing up the hair. And this is especially important if you're gonna be using extensions because you don't want some naughty ass hair. I bought these extensions from Amazon. I'll have a picture of them and then also a link in the bio. It's not affiliated, um, I got kicked off Amazon affiliates because I guess I tagged my Instagram and they think that I promote with nudity so I don't deserve to be an affiliate. So that's my story. I'm taking a pretty pretty small section of hair at the bottom or the nape of my neck. And that's where I'm gonna go in with my first sectioning. I use a three clip weft for this section. I wore these yesterday so they do have some curls in them already. I'm just gonna brush them out. I'm going to clip it right here. And that is our first section. And then I'm gonna do another section with a three clip weft, just kind of a few centimeters above that. And don't come at me for my sectioning. Um, I'm sure it looks like shit, so don't claim to be a professional extension expert. I just know this probably looks horrendous. <laughs> and I'm not looking forward to editing this and seeing how horrible it looks. The next weft is a four clip weft. So this is going to be like the largest part of my head. Here is our big mama, brushing her out and gonna clip her in. And as you can see, much more length than uh, my natural hair. My natural hair is like probably right here. And this is where the mullet concealing comes in because if you just let this down, um, you still have your short layers and you're still giving off that mullet look. So this is where we have to be precise with the placing of our extensions. I like to take about half of my short layers and clip them up. I'm just gonna throw them over here. So I have two different sets of sh um, two clips. I have like these shorter two clips and then I have like a wider two clip. So I'm gonna go in with the wider one first and go ahead and brush it. Because we're trying to disguise the short layers in our mullet, you wanna take this as close to the front as you can without it looking like too obscene. So make sure you have your bangs and your framing pieces out. 
And make sure it's not like too close to your face, but not like far away, if that makes sense. Here is, I placed it like right above my eyebrow kind of area. And you can see the short layers are a lot more concealed. I mean, you can see that I have like these shorter layers in the front, but that blends in with my bangs so it doesn't look too obvious. I'll go about halfway up for my bangs, if that makes sense, so like right here, and add that smaller two clip weft. And again, make sure you're getting it pretty close to your face just so we can hide those shorter layers. Here we are. It's really important that you play with this and figure out what looks best for your hair and your extensions just because obviously everyone's hair is different. But I feel like having darker hair also helps conceal everything just because when I had blonde hair, like you could, no matter what I did, I feel like you could always tell I had a mullet. But now that my hair is darker, I feel like it's easier to hide things. So just gonna go back in and do this to my other side. Do we remember how we talked about the anatomy of a mullet? Kind of make sure the top of our head is a little more flat so we're not getting the volume of the mullet. So keep that in mind when you're placing your extensions and when you're curling. Try not to put a lot of curls up at the top just because it starts to emphasize our shorter layers and we are trying to conceal that. So I have curls from yesterday because I styled my hair, but I'm going to put in a few more just because for the sake of this video and I want a few more distinct curls. This is the Bedhead Curling Iron and I think it's a one inch or one and a half inch. And I'm just gonna go in and do some kind of money pieces in the front. I like to keep like a long section of my hair out just because I like more of a beachy vibe and just gonna let that go. Make sure you're brushing your hair and when you are curling, it's nice to get some of those shorter layers and your natural hair and the extension together, just so if your hair is a different color, nice to blend. And if you do curl your shorter layers, make sure it's like towards the bottom, not up towards the root because we're not trying to add volume or emphasize those shorter layers. I have like a really bright light on so I can't even tell what my hair looks like. I think I'm fine with just those curls. And then I'm gonna go in and add some in the front over here as well. And if your mullet is super, super short, I'm not sure how well the extensions will look, but you can always give that a try. You know when girls or people have really, really short hair and they try to have extensions, like you can kind of most of the time see the definition between um, the natural hair and the long hair just because there's so much of a difference. So if your hair is short, it would be better to get extensions that are like an appropriate length. So it'd be better to blend in. My hair is pretty long, so I don't feel like my short layers pop out as much like underneath. I mean, to each their own, just do whatever makes you feel confident and good. And I never curl the back of my head and I need to get better at that. So I'm gonna do that now. And I'm just gonna curl under. I'm scared to do like a 360 because I feel like the back of my head's gonna look like shit and I'm gonna be embarrassed because I've been walking around like that. Oh, I don't like how that looks. You can totally see. And make sure you just play with it, see what you like, do what makes you feel good. I'm not here to tell you exactly how to hide your mullet because your hair might be different than mine. And of course, make sure your wefts are not showing because that's the most important part to hide a mullet. <laughs> you gotta hide your wefts. I think my wefts are good. My hair is so thin so I'm like is it showing or not? Like I can't tell. And I guess I'm gonna go out like this today so I will go in and use that hairspray again. You could use some um, volumizing products or sea salt spray, whatever you like. I don't, to be honest, I don't feel comfortable <laughs> wearing my extensions straight just because I feel like when it's curled, it looks more hidden and not as obvious, but of course to each their own. And if you want to add like a little bit of volume that isn't crazy, just go in with your dry shampoo and it'll add some fluff. Dry shampoo is good for getting some sort of texture and volume in. So here is the last way I conceal my mullet is with my extensions. I think I've gotten pretty good at it. I've had the extensions for a couple weeks now, so I've been figuring out what works good, how to blend and whatever. For you guys, I'll do 360, but I'm scared. <laughs> These are 16 inch extensions. I think my natural hair is probably like 12 inches. Here's what it looks like in the back. How horrible does it look? Actually, I don't wanna know. Actually, I'll know when I edit this. <laughs> Alrighty, so those are all my tips and tricks on how to disguise your mullet. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you regret your mullet, make sure to like this video and comment down below that you regret your mullet because no one else is talking about it, you know? Everyone looks so good at their mullet. I wanna talk about 
how horrible we feel with the mullet. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you so much. Adios!